In this video, let us solve problems based on general solutions of trigonometric equations. Alright, so here we've got a question which reads like this. It says, uh, find the general solutions of sine 2 theta equals 0. So we know that the general solution of uh, sine theta equal to 0 is uh, n pi. So therefore here, 2 theta equals n pi where n belongs to z or integers. So therefore, theta equals n pi divided by 2. Again, n belongs to z or integers. So, this is the general solution of sine 2 theta equal to 0. Alright, that is n pi by 2 is the general solution of sine 2 theta equal to 0. Let's solve another problem. So, we've got another problem which again is nothing but find the general solutions of sine 3 theta divided by 2 equals 0. So, we know that uh, the general solution of sine theta equal to 0 is n pi. So, therefore, in this case, it will be 3 theta divided by 2 equals n pi where n belongs to integers and theta will be equal to 2n pi divided by 3. 2 will go to the right hand side on top and 3 will come down to the right hand side. So, it will be theta equals 2n pi divided by 3 again where n belongs to integers. Let's quickly solve another one. This is a pretty basic basic video. The fundamental problems based on the general solutions of trigonometric equations. The Next problem we have is uh, find the general solutions of sine square 2 theta equal to 0. Right, so we know that uh, the general solution of sine theta equal to 0 is n pi. So in this case, it will be 2 theta equals n pi, where n belongs to integers. So theta equals n pi divided by 2, where n belongs to integers. So this is the general solution of sine square 2 theta equals 0. Do not worry about, you know, how the sine is, whether it's sine square or sine cube or whatever it is. You just have to worry about the angle that is unknown. You just have to find the value of the theta, all right? So that's exactly what we've done here. So to do that, you need to know, you know, what is a general solution of sine theta equal to zero? All right, let me just mention here for your reference what I used. General solution GS of sine theta is nothing but theta equals n pi where n belongs to z. So if sine theta, theta is equal to n pi, in all these cases, just take whatever it is. 2 theta will be equal to n pi, so find out the value of theta. 3 th theta by 2 will be equal to n pi, so find out the value of theta. This is the same way it goes on. All right, so that ends this uh, these problems as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on general solutions of trigonometric equations. Thank you.